first might want to decide if this is really what they want to do. Because sometimes people say, I really want to write, but I'd like to make money on the side. And I'm not so sure those people make much money because they really want to write. Um, but I'd say first preparation. You really need to learn a lot about scripts and dramatic literature because the problems you encounter are huge and you have to figure out how to solve them. I think that there's two parts to being a script consultant. One is to simply know your work and I think that takes experience and I'd recommend people do some free scripts, you know, three, five of them, just to make sure you have something that is worthwhile, you know, worth money. But the other issue, I believe, has to do with people skills because you are working sometimes with fragile egos. You're working with people who see the script as their baby. Be careful of my baby. And so as a script consultant, I think my job is also to nurture creativity. It's not just to be right or to have the right solutions for a script because if the writer is defensive, it doesn't matter how right I am. I, I have a little saying that says, it's not enough to be right, you have to be effective. And to get an effective rewrite, you are pulling out that creative process and l have, having the writer, you're sort of guiding them, not necessarily to my solutions, but to workable solutions. So I can't have my ego in the way, but I also have to be careful, as I said, if, if there's nothing but resistance, we won't get any place. So I have taken a lot of classes in psychology. I took classes in what's called the group process, how do you lead a group. Um, read a lot of books. Uh, one book was How to Deal with Difficult People, <laughs> and that was very helpful. And I, when I teach script consulting, about one third of that class, or one quarter, is about people skills and saying, what are the words you use in your vocabulary that pull out the writer's creativity, and what is it that blocks it? For instance, if I said to you about your writing, well, you know, the, one of the big problems is, you might start like this, but if I said, you know, there's a part of the script that could be strengthened, and it has to do with focus, and you are going in a good direction already on the focus, but right here, it's, getting, it's taking a detour, so let's look at that. Now you're probably leaning forward instead of leaning back. And if I said to you something like, here's a possibility. Now you're not like this, or if I said, look, this is what you gotta do. Now you're, you're more defensive and resistant, and you say, who's telling me what I gotta do in my script? So when I teach script consulting, I suggest people use open words like possibly, or there's a potential here, or you might want to think about, or maybe. And, um, and then I show them, we, I, when I teach it, I actually have writers there, and I show them what that difference is, or even body language. You know, if I'm sitting like this and we're talking, it's one thing, if I'm sitting, boy, the script really got problems, we're not, we're not going to get any place. So um, I think that the people skills are extremely important. And I have, uh, someone was telling me, I had a client a couple weeks ago, and they were just saying, you keep everything so calm. And I said, it's a learned response. I said, that is not just natural. I said, I went, I really purposely tried to learn what are the things someone can do to help the creative process. And so even if I'm not meeting with the writer or the producer, the report is going to try to be encouraging and constructive rather than shutting the person down.